So I'm really also licking my paws here, guys. This is actually my hooves in this uh, sense. This is the just announced wonderful Southeast Asia animal pack. So loads of new things in here. Um, well, I'm just going to turn off the music here and just swipe to the end. But you've seen that potentially. There is a new DLC on its way and we are going to look through this wonderful video. So um, this is some cool stuff ahead of time recorded. So there will be a second video today about the forum post because there might be some more info in the forum post. But first of all, we're going to have a look into this trailer and since i have a little bit more time now to make it really you know gentle calm we are really going to look through this thing frame by frame because it is so freaking good so um first of all before we really jump into it there is one very important thing we have to talk about and that is the fact this is an animal pack so i have double checked yes there will be no building pieces involved however we have eight animals that means um it's gonna be way bigger than the usual ones you know where we have four or maybe five animals so it's nearly double the amount i think this is very important to keep in mind but now let's really jump into these animals all right so let's just start this again and we can see already from this shot this looks pretty cool though um we have someone sitting here in the tree and if i'm not completely wrong this has to be a proboscis monkey i think this is how you pronounce that i'm not really too sure but um uh, we can't really tell even more in this shot but it's really nice looking um from the backside you know it's it's kind of looking really cool and then it's going over to the next and it's fun though, you know, this animal obviously is the one everyone knew, it's it's gonna come at some point, this is one of those animals uh, that have been leaked a couple of months ago, and this is the sun bear, and I, I honestly, I love the sun bear, the sun bear is such a cool addition because it's not like the typical kind of bear, let's go quickly back before we talk about that wonderful one over here, um, it, it's, you know, there is kind of a difference in this bear compared to the other ones, it has some other claws, it has like a very long tongue, which we will talk about later on, um, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit of a difference if you compare to the Formosan black bear, the grizzly bear, and the Himalayan brown bear. They are pretty similar to each other, and that bear is a little bit of a different story, different constitution, body constitution, uh, kind of a little bit of a different moving animations, I guess. At least that's what I could talk uh, tell from the images, and I think it's more likely to sit, uh, like as you can see over here. So. You know, there is there's something in there I can definitely see because so far, you know, we only have like three things we can talk about that already kind of are in the game and we just have a different skin now on them. But I think there are a lot of different things over here. This one, for example, is one of those different ones and that is a clouded leopard. And I know that this one is definitely a fan favorite. I know that people have been asking so much for leopards. Like leopards, you know, we do have the snow leopard, but that's basically the only leopard we have in the game. And people ask for that one and um, now we only have like a tropical leopard uh, species which is kind of great um, not gonna lie this is something I love as well and I will be doing a habitat for this one rather quickly I mean sure we don't have to wait now because obviously uh, there is no new pieces involved and that means we can already go ahead which is pretty dope though I, I'm not gonna lie especially in my position right now where every day counts uh, not gonna lie this is something very good over here but yeah let's zoom a little bit forward you can see this looks this shot by the way is also fantastic you know you can see the leopard going a little bit like in general you know the composition of this shot is pretty good like for those uh, the one who, who made the trailer nice work that's nice how it's actually going through to the right hand side into into the hiding spaces into the shadow and before that one being very much in the sunlight as we all know how different the lighting can be in this game really dope shot okay so next up is something very easy i guess <laughs> you know we all know this is the best race in the world it's the master race and it gets another uh, another um you know part of it and this is the obviously the malayan um tapir which i think you know everyone wanted to have the malayan tapir from the very beginning i think we don't have to talk about that that this is this is the stuff we asked frontier to do and they did so no one should or could complain because obviously this is kind of more or less like a skin update if you will because um it definitely is pretty similar to the other one to the um bait, bait step here but um it, it's still good to have two different species in the game you know every single edition is a good addition um and people ask for it so that's a brilliant one and now let's go a little bit further we have a little bit of an animation here. I'm, I'm just still trying to see if there's anything hidden in the back because we don't have all the animals together i guess and now we have the next animal and this one 
I knew this one, but I had to look for the name because I think this is a fairly ugly animal. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna zoom a little bit forward there. You can see the image. And I'm quite sure this is a Babirusa or Babirusa? Babirusa? I have no idea how you pronounce that one. I call it even more ugly Warthog, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, you know, um, even though I'm not quite sure if this is like the same, uh, same size as a warthog or if it is, um, it almost looks like a little bit more size-wise like a pygmy hippo to be honest, but um, surely it does have something from the, you know, I, I guess it's going to share the rig with uh, the warthog, I'm quite sure because animations and stuff will be pretty similar, um, but yeah, so let's go further and this is, you know, normally I would go nuts now in these kind of images trying to, trying to spot things and so on but since there will be no new pieces in the game and you know nothing really ad added to it other than the animals there is really not that big of a chance to see anything even though we know there have to be at least uh, three more animals I guess uh, from from what I've seen or not not seen uh, let's put it that way um, in the trailer so if we go forward you can see introducing eight amazing animals so there is no list in here and since i have not seen the forum post i guess in the forum post there will be all animals in so sorry if i miss out on some um this will be in the second video and we will discuss the missing ones as well um but this one over here is one of the best shots and Okay, so I, you know, as I said, we have the time, we talk about this now. This is the Clouded Leopard and I mean, this model screams amazing to me because it's, I, I've looked a lot into leopards and stuff and, and, and big cats and especially the um, lion is something I'm not really happy with. Like, I, you know, don't get me wrong, the model in the game is amazing, but I think the lion, I, I talked about that already quite quite a lot in the past. I think the lion is one of the first animals Frontier did and I think they went into a tiny bit of a different art style um, afterwards and the lion is still reminiscent of the old way of doing it which I think was a tendency to be a little bit more comic-y just as the guests are and then they might have w gone into even more realism and so the lions in my opinion look a little bit too cartoonish um, a little bit too nice a little bit too fluffy I, I don't even know how to you know describe this in a better way but it's definitely something I would have loved to be changed. But this one over here, this looks exactly like a clouded leopard. Yes, it still has this, this nice look to the eyes. But if we just quickly go back to this shot over here. So you can actually see with the tilted head down. Um, I think this is a brilliant shot to show you. Like the overall shape of the leopard over here. And and the, the shape of the head over here. If you just look, it, it is a lot more pointy. It's very... It's very thin, you know, the overall line is very nice, and I think this is definitely uh, a good sign that they went ahead and made a very, very nice clouded leopard model. So if we're gonna look into this one, you can really see how nice it is. The fur working really well in here, um, the size is pretty nice. I can't wait to see the babies, by the way, the babies will be insanely cute. And then we come to my best friend, okay? So this is my best friend. I love this monkey. I, I don't know why, but I, I love them. Uh, I think ever since I saw it the first time in an actual zoo, I'm I'm just a big fan of this. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a different name for this animal. Let's but keep let's keep the normal name, which is uh, the proboscis monkey, and uh, it's. It's a lovely one. It's a good addition to the monkeys. Um, we needed one. Um, there can never be enough monkeys. It is a cool one. It's like a little bit of a bigger one. So, you know, we, we got the uh, Capuchin monkey, obviously, with the um, South American update, which is uh, was a really good addition. Um, then we obviously had the koalas later on with the Australia pack. And uh, in the last one, there was no climbing animal. So it's good to see another climbing animal back in it. And um, this one's good. It's really good. Uh, you know, we haven't seen too many of the climbing animations um, we can only say, tell that the nose is very accurate and looks fantastic um, really really love that model to be honest it's really cool also here with the neck and um, you can see how the fur is spreading out to the I, I I'm not sure if this is actually it, it seems a little bit new to me that the fur has such a precise difference in it I mean I remember that for example for the um, lion we don't have this this is interesting, by the way. I'm not really sure, though. I mean, I, okay, I, I could tell something completely stupid over here, but I can't remember we had such a defined line between two different um, sections of fur. You know, the fur shader really having this 
um, almost scarf-like look over here, and then the head also very, very nicely uh, distinguishable b between here. Um, because I remember that, the, especially with the lion, my problem with the lion was that the big fur around the neck, which I can't, I've rem is it the moan? Oh no, I, I'm not really sure what the name exactly of it is, but um, it's definitely something I... Um, I definitely think it's not in, I think it's the main, by the way, not the moan, I'm stupid, okay? But I definitely think that this could be a change in the fur, maybe they improve the fur shader even further, and maybe we can see an update in there, because that looks, that looks really precise to me over here. Look at that, this is just a very nice uh, transition. I love it, maybe there is an improvement also to the line, who knows? I will definitely check it, because I, I have a feeling that I haven't seen it that precise before. Maybe they made a little advance in there. Yeah, and then we see our friend the Sun Bear again, and and uh, here you can see that the, I think the animation is somewhat different. Yes, I think I think the how the the claws and the paws are positioned. I will double check with an animation um, of an actual bear in the game, but I think it's definitely a different one. Um, and then we have the absolute gorgeous climbing animation here of the clouded leopard. And I'm uh, also a little bit intrigued by this piece on the left hand side. Because that is something I haven't seen. I mean, they didn't say, they don't, they said there are no new pieces, but they did not say that there is no new enrichment item. So potentially we do see a new enrichment item and that one over here looks like something hanging. I'm quite certain hasn't been in the game because you can see that is a tree. That's definitely a tree. Wait a second. That is, that is a tree. Can we just, I'll definitely take a picture of that one. And we are going to have a closer look to this one now. Give me a second. Okay, so I brought this up. I, I snipped it out. And you can see this is this is the picture. And if we zoom in, you can definitely tell that this is not a piece-by-piece piece build or anything like that. This is definitely a enrichment item, which is in here. Definitely. I'm 100% I'm certain. If we go back to the game, you can see over here that it is hanging down. Can we just actually go down a little bit more here? Let's have a look. So this whole tree seems to be an enrichment item. Uh, that's interesting. That's interesting to say the least. Um, you know, this kind of... So basically, what you know, we got this tree with the koalas, you know. But that's definitely not the koala tree. It's definitely something else. If we go higher up. Okay, so this is what we have. There's not more to see than that, you know. And if we s snip over to here, but this is definitely, this is a fake. They want to fake us over here. This might be this tree, but I'm quite sure it's not. This is a normal tree in game. This over here is a normal Liani, um, something like that. Let's see if the movement shows us anything else. I think we can't see anything else, right? No. Okay, next shot over here is our best friend again, the Sun Bear, which again, also, the fur over here looks fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say this is this is new, but it definitely looks improved. And also, we have this long, very long tongue over here, which is um, very iconic for the sun bear. Uh, even though I have to say, this model also is looking fantastic, looking really good. Yes, it's a little bit more, it's a little more cute, you know, but it's um, definitely, definitely a good cute. Um, and if we see this sitting animation is definitely new. I, I mean, this is this is something we don't really usually see in that way. I mean, the other bears do sit, but they they sit a little bit more teddy bearish, and this one is definitely like a bit more of a human-like sitting. I would almost say. Um, and then you know the, the tongue a little twisty. Looks really good. Looks really solid. And that's that's where we are, guys. So. Um, I'm I'm really excited. I'm I'm excited, even though you know we have to we have to take it still with a little bit of a you know uh, question mark. I mean, maybe you guys know it already, and uh, then I will talk about that in the second video. But I will definitely put my thoughts into one video now. Um, I'm waiting for the forum post tomorrow, and then I will record another video, um, which gives you a little bit of an idea what I think about the pack because I think we have to talk. Um, I'm really happy that Frontier listened to us, and we get more animals at once. Um, and if we do know about all the animals, then we will definitely have to talk about that because that would be would be amazing. There are a lot of thoughts I have about it. I want to share with you, but um, I hope you are first of all happy now with this little analysis of the trailer. We still have to get together our act. Uh, what exactly this item is? I'm just quickly going through if we maybe missed it in another shot as well. Yeah, there's no way we find it in here. Blah 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 blah. Let's zoom that back. No. 
you may have nothing to show as well. This is this is a weird shot. There is nothing in this one could be something. Let's have a look. Nah, that's too short. Okay, and then our friend over here as well. I wonder also if um, the Sun Bear is able to go into the different enrichment items for the Ant Eater. I think that would also work pretty well. Um, but yeah, so this is what we have. This this gives me, by the way, a total Planet of the Apes vibes here with the pine trees and stuff. Uh, really cool. We really really cool. But there's I think there's nothing else to see. Nah, 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 nah. We don't see anything else. Okay, cool. Let's keep it, call it a day here. I really hope you guys are excited for it. I am. Um, I, I think it's really good that we get more animals than just four plus one. Um, and yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite animal so far. And if there are the new animals also, put them down in the comments. I want to know your feedback. And what's your favorite of those we've seen? Five animals we've seen, just as a little reminder, it's the pro 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 Oh my god, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just such a, such a weird... Uh, I'm so weird when it comes to pronunciation. So anyways, we have the sun bear, we have the clouded leopard, we have the uh, proboscis monkey, the malayan tapir, and the babri rusa. This is what we know so far. That make, means we still have three animals missing. Um, but yeah, maybe you guys know already from the forum post and then that's it. Stay safe, everyone. We talk to each other in a couple of more minutes when I've recorded the second video after the post and I keep you <coughs> posted. Sorry for that one. I'm nearly a dad, so I'm allowed to make dad jokes. See you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.